We're over here in Dade City. Yes, we are. And we're here at the City of Changes because Dade City is changing. And this is the Clinton Avenue project widening after Fort King. And literally, this will be a four lane highway. And as you can see, they are starting construction tearing down the trees because literally the road's gonna go over there and over here wow. and this is gonna take you to San Antonio Florida but yeah all this is opening up four-lane highway city of changes boy they bought a lot of houses a lot of people's property like a lot of these front lawns are not gonna be there there used to be a building there a charity center they knocked it down by circle b road and this is going to be the tricky part because i wonder how they're going to level all this here because this is like date city is like a mountainous yeah i call a mountainous city anyway it is. but it's got a lot of hills it's not flat right it's not the florida you expect no but this is it I guess because of the weather, I don't see no one out here, but all that is coming down to the left and to the right. I want to say, I, I just, this is going to be like a, a hellbound when they start tearing up these yeah. roads because Dade City's grown so much. And there's so many houses and stuff that. Oh my God. Oh yeah, that's where Clinton Avenue is going to be going straight ahead. That's gonna be the new 52 up there. But you can see all of this. So I guess they're gonna start from this bottom here. And this used to be all trees, all housing. All agriculture. Yeah. But they're tearing it up, boy. Wow. They're tearing it up. I, guess I mean, that dude is in the water and everything. <clears throat> this, is what, this is what they mean when you leave home and you come back and it's not quite the same. No. It's not, Jesus. and like I said, there used to be a house over here in the corner, but all this, and then up there straight ahead on that hill, and we're gonna be making a left here on Prospect, that where is Clinton Avenue is going up there. And that's gonna be the new 52, I think it is. Shit. And it's taken us into that one place, that subdivision that is a, has its own beach. We'll do a video oh, one day. Wesley oh, this is what no in San Antonio across from uh, yeah. the thing. But yeah, this is Prospect Avenue. And mind you, if you look to the left, and I don't know if you can see, all that is gonna be open too. All that. They always they move the fence back and everything. And that's where it's right where the fence is going. I think they're gonna open up this whole block. I think, I don't think this is going to be a four lane highway, but this intersection is definitely going to be changed. It's going to be a four lane intersection because this is another way that you can get to the back way of San Antonio. But, alrighty, and this is William Cemetery <laughs> Road where we did a video one time. Remember? Yeah. And the cemetery and stuff. Yep. And... This is where this road is gonna be cutting through. And I think it's gonna ride behind the cemetery. Now there, you can see where all the markers are. This road is gonna stay the same. They might pave it, they might not, I don't know. But you're gonna, it's gonna blow your mind when you see what Dade City is gonna be, become. I mean, literally, the city of trees is the city of no trees yeah there used to be a lot of trees out here oh god yes but back here as a matter of fact where someone had told us this was where uh i don't want to say pioneers but this is where the indian massacre remember happened out here look at that boy okay. Ooh, look at that flower mm-hmm Go straight ahead, dude. And as you see, some of the construction people, which I'm, that they went that way. That's where half of it is gonna be. But yeah, 
all these people here that used to live out in the country are gonna have a highway behind them now. Yeah, yeah, you just keep going a little bit past that road closure. But that's uh, William Cemetery. And we did a, a video. And someone, the owner, one of the family members, remember they wrote us on yeah. the thing? But yeah, there was something out here where there were settlers. And I can't remember their name. Son of a gun. But there was a bunch of settlers and the Indians came out here and massacred them. Yeah. So who knows how many bones they might find up here and stuff. But this is where it's gonna come through. Now mind you, these this road's been here forever. Ever. All this used to be trees, trees out here and they ripped all the trees down. First they claimed there was a, a beetle infestation. Yeah. And then all of a sudden houses were starting to get put up. But we're not home anymore, Toto. No, you're not home. But just imagine yeah. what all this riding out here anymore then. no now if you do because we used to come out here all the time horseback riding i'm sure but this is just one way where if you come in through yeah, william cemetery you this is where the road is coming through mind you behind that cemetery down the area over there and then as you can slow down and that's literally if you go up there and make a U-turn, but that's where the road is coming down. Right there. Right inside Save there. Command. Yeah, right here is good. But all that, dude. You can see the college perfect. Yeah. And mind you, it's gonna come across this way, shoot that way, and it's going down where that truck is going. And if you can move up a little bit. Yep, yeah, that's where it's going to, dude. Let's. Never thought I'd see the day I could look up here and see the college. Right, right, right. All right, just turn in there just for a second. But yeah, that's gonna be the new 52. Hang on one second. Wow. That's gonna go all the way to Clinton Road. Son of a gun. Looks like they're moving dirt and stuff. But yeah, this is going to be the new way to uh, St. Anne. Alrighty, now as we're coming around Prospect, this is where the road is going to run through. And again, I'm going to say that they're going to call it the New 52. Yeah, that's what they were saying. Right, or Clinton Avenue. But over there is the biggest development that one day we're going to do a video. And it has a beach and everything. And this is why they're building this road into Dade City. But all this that used to be orange groves ain't orange groves no more. Oh, our cattle. Yeah, but you could see some of the construction crew over there as you slow down when we get up there. But this is it, dude. This is what Dade City is becoming. Right now, if you slow down, you see where those cones are. And then you're gonna see, this is the connection. Right there to the left, that's gonna take you to that new subdivision. Slow down. And then to the right, this right here is taking you towards William Cemetery Road. This is gonna be a four lane highway. And then again, all that right there behind you yeah is going to shoot into that new big development and is it wesley chapel that would be considered wesley chapel no that not on this side no on, on the other side that side over there where that road right is going here to is St. Anne. right but where that road is going to is that still st Anne by eddie's roller rink or yes. is that wesley chapel no, okay so that's still going to take you over there okay and i'm going to show you the other way Okay, now we're coming down Wishers Road, and this is where Wishers and McCabe connect. Now, a lot of these back streets and everything to Dade City, okay? If you slow down there as we get to that sign there, 
Now where we were just on Prospect Road and just angle it to the right a little, to the left, that's where that other area is coming off of Prospect. And then you can go towards that way. Go towards the left now, which is the William Cemetery. Now remind you, that's McCabe. It's coming underneath there. And then we're gonna go right through here. There you go. There you go. Go all the way over there. And this is the other side of William Cemetery. Remember, we were stopped on that one side, so we couldn't get through. And then this is gonna be the cross through on the other side to show you. And then we went around Prospect to show you how it connects to St. Anne. Wow, look at all that sewer. All right, baby. This is where the road stops because this is where they're coming through. Now, mind you, where that over there, where that light is, that's where we were. And then this is where they're going to come through with it. But just think, all this used to be trees. All of this. Used to be nothing but pine trees. And now look at it. And you said you used to go horseback riding back here? Yeah. Ain't the same no more. No, for sure. Nah, nah. But can you believe the big changes that Date City is is having? Yep. Little city of trees. That Got no more trees. Right. Now it's going to be asphalt and concrete. But yep, for all those people that love the environment, want to protect the environment, there you go. And this is going to go to Prospect, which is the, the road we were before this one. And this is the William Cemetery Road where like I was telling you, over that was where we were stopped, where we couldn't come no more. Right. Yeah. Because normally William Cemetery would run right through here and come around here, go through there to the cemetery, and then out to prospect the, the back way. Yeah. But unfortunately, not no more. Yeah. And, and this is what, this is connecting to Clinton Avenue. I mean, literally. And wow. again, I mean, I hate to repeat myself. This used to be all pine trees out here before this project started. They claimed, they claimed that there was a beetle infestation. So they ripped every tree here in Pasco. But what were you going to say? It was pine trees and oaks, water oaks. And now look at it now, dude. Yep. Now it's just nothing but a highway. Well, with growth. We got more houses being built, we have to have more roads. Yes, we do. All right, now let's go around to the other side of Prospect and connect us back to Clinton and show you uh, the other side. All right, BB, as we're coming down the old 52, which is, we just came off of Witcher's. And this is what I was telling you about. This is the section that's going to open up. I don't think that section there, there's no markers or nothing. But this is the section here that goes to Clinton. And as we're turning on Prospect. But you see how they, this is, that's going to be opened up there. Definitely. That's all going to be opened up right here. I mean, this section definitely. This intersection definitely is going to be opened up. But yeah, this is it. The new 52 is going to be right there. And then that one will be the old 52. But look at that, boy. I wonder how they're going to do it. If they're going to rip that mountain down or what. So what do you think? Any comments you'd like to say about Dade City? We're 
growing. We are growing. We're back on Clinton. So like I said, we did basically a full around circle. All this project here is just for a development that's over there, either considered San Ann or Wesley Chapel border out there. But all this is just for that. It's crazy. All these new homes and stuff going up. But the crazy thing is they've already built these tons of homes, but they don't have the roads yet in Dade City. And now well, it's they like... Zephyr Hills for Wesley Chapel. Right. I mean, that's problem number one. Okay, great. We need more housing, but what about the roads? And the roads that we've already got, I mean, are only one and two lane roads. I mean, other than 301, which is they finally upgraded it a few years ago I shouldn't say a few it's been about five years but still I mean it's gonna take a long time to get these roadways done right and I wonder why they're laying all this grass here because no. that's what I'm saying if they're supposed to open this up like four lanes why was that truck just throwing grass on the ground? Or maybe it's for something else, but maybe. But anyway, Date City's changing. Everywhere is changing, even by my mom's. So we'll be checking out these little small towns that are growing up. Uh, sometimes they're too big for their own. Whatchamacallit? Like like Date City blew up before the roads, yeah. you know, blew up. And no. Zephyr Hills is doing the same. I mean, right. It's... But right now we're in Dade City. Right. That's what we're talking about. So, yeah. So, I mean, like. All of these little towns are blowing up quick because a lot of people from the city want to be in the country. Right. And now they're turning this country into a city. So now they're turning in our rural area into city. Right. All right. Until well, our next video. See ya. Peace.